Hello and welcome to the 75th tutorial in the Cocos 2 d JS version 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at the UI element UI label. We'll be using the source code from the 7th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Cocos 2 d JS provides us with a UI extension which contains loads of UI elements, enabling us to create great menus, hoods, etc. In this tutorial, we will look at the UI label element uh, which allows us to create a label using a form file and should be used for static test for example a title on a pause screen saying pause for example because it is quite heavy in, ter in terms of a performance here if you're changing it constantly you wouldn't want UI label let's say on your hood that is constantly changing maybe your score um, label you just wouldn't want the UI label okay so let's just go ahead and add our extension or uh, into our project add extensions to do that it's really simple you just open up project.json in a text editor and where it says modules after Cocos to do product comma quotation marks and just put extensions I've spelt that wrong I can see mm, yep extensions there we go okay saved and we're all done in the project.json now what we need to do is open up our app.js and now we can code our UI label. I'm just going to comment out this sprite for now. We're going to do var text equals new ccui dot text. And then we're going to do text dot att, which stands for attribute. And in here, what we're going to be putting is text align code on cc dot text underscore alignment underscore center comma we're going to set the string now so for the string I'm just going to put label ttf keep it simple for the font I'm just going to specify Arial you can have your own custom font as well if you want to and now for the position we'll put x colon size dot width divided by 2 y colon size dot height divided by 2 and that is it we don't need another comma because we are done here semicolon to end it add it as a child to our layer text no line 8 which that should not be there get rid of that and now if we just open up terminal cd to our project directory run the cocos command there we go we have label ttf and it's appearing right there based on the properties that we set in here it really is that simple so what i want you to do as an extra task is look at the other attributes you can add also look at different ways that you can uh, construct a text file. Uh, information for this can be found on the Cocos 2 djf API guide and more information can be found in the samples and tests provided by Cocos 2 djs In the next tutorial we will cover, cover using the UI list view. If you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video just directly message us via YouTube or the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.